Hi guys and girls, welcome back to The Walking Dead. Uh, when we left off, we were stuck inside a chemist with a guy whose heart was gonna explode. Um, <laughs> he needs nitroglycerin tablets, so we gotta find a way to get behind the pharmacy counter. Um, I was gonna get my bird to play, but he doesn't love me anymore. Okay. So we talked to this guy. Let's see what else we got back here. Anything? Nothing. Can't go to the toilet. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Oh. Come about around. Damn it. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, an energy bar. Let's talk to Clad. Hey there. Hi. Uh, any word from any Glenn? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah. You better I be. I think so. My favorite. You're doing a good job. Can I get you anything? Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Well, you can have the energy bar. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, Thanks, Stuart. Being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. <laughs> we'll sit tight. He's too acute. Okay. I like him. <laughs> Let's give her an energy bar. Here, it's Clementa. not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Yay! We look after Clementine because she's so cute. What's that? Oh, it's another energy bar. Take it again. Okay. Uh, can we keep walking here? No. Uh, Oh, okay. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Uh, uh, talk to her. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet Let's away from me. Get on her. And I would have joined her if it wasn't oh, for that dorky yeesh. guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but you know. Yeah. She was an asshole. That guy saved you. That guy you. saved you. Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. <laughs> in that parent's basement sort of way. Oh, my. Huh? She likes huh? him. Oh, nothing. She likes him. She likes him. She How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. <sighs> Nothing. Well, that might help. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? <laughs> We're from the new age. You know that there are what no are batteries? batteries? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. <laughs> Come on. We're not that new tech.
No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> we can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Nothing good, apparently. I don't remember them very well. Oh, must, this is... We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Let's talk. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Mm, she's good, I she's think. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. She's Not just any little girl enough. can do that. What's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh, did they run this place? I thought they did. I had a sneaking suspicion. They, uh, own this place. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Aww. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys, Are you guys all, right? all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Um, it happened pretty fast. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Murderer's point of view on death? I don't know if Lee's a murderer or not. We, like, I mean, all I know is he was stuck in a freaking police car. Uh. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those so things out there? Oh, what's it? Ooh, another energy bar. Oh, I should give one to Duck. Here, Duck. Poor Duck. Here you go, Duck. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Uh, What's that? Oh, I should have talked to them. Um, alive inside? I, somehow I died. Oh, <coughs> this was his mom and dad. Can't think about them in here. Aww. Uh, this door leads to the back alley. Okay. First aid. First aid kit. Uh, search first aid kit. Maybe I can check that yet. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was her. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. No. Take the phone. 
No, look, it's him and his family. Find anything? The photo of the family here in this place. It's a photo of the family who owns <clears> this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. Oh. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Yep. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? It's the apocalypse who cares, uh, no. No, but that's sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Um... Thanks? Thanks. Don't worry about it. Yes, that's a bird outside. He's talking to him. Ooh. Let's talk to Cam and Hmm. Everyone's okay. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Can you do that more? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. No. Good. I'm so cute. Uh, have you heard from have Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Oh, okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's move this. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to no. me. See, Dad's just smart it's like so that. So cute. <laughs> I just want to take him and hug him. Move the desk. Three. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Yes. Sure. <laughs> Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh, things have been scary, huh? Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Shut up, phone. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Uh, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. <laughs> All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Um... Because they're dead? I wouldn't blame them. Uh, are we going to be deprecating? I because they're dead. Because they're dead. 
Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Oh. Look, my family's gone and I mean. just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Everyone's in trouble, but let's keep it to... Uh, I'm not a bad guy. Uh, I got into some trouble and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Oh! Oh no! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Oh yes, I know where that is. Uh, what's in that? Okay, well that's a remote. We need the first aid kit. Search the first aid kit. Now use the band-aid on here. Let's have a look at that finger. Fix it up. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Yeah, good old Lee. Does it hurt when I do this? A little, not too much. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. You've got a nice little cut on the underside here. That's where it hurts the most. We need a bandage for that, I think. Getting an infection might be a big deal now. What do you mean? Just might be tough to get a doctor. Sorry, I gotta be a dust on my screen. We need to keep you in tip top shape. Okay, well, we'll make it better. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. She's so cute and nice. Mm -hmm. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, Lee. Um. Um. They'll find us. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then. Okay. Okay. How's your finger? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay. Now let's take that. It's the remote. remote to my dad's TV. Can we turn on the TV? It'd be strange if we could. Does it work? That's what <laughs> I figured. Okay, can we open the door? Uh, the Get on the door, everybody do that. Street. Oh, okay. We gotta go get that key of the kid on the street. Wanna head da, back da, into da, the dressing room with me? Okay. Shh. Lee? Yes, Clem? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I'm not bad. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. Okay. Let's go talk to the old fellow. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. She's a bitch. Everything. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. Don't act like a bitch, don't get cold, my dad. Bitch. That didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. 
I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Oh, we got kids here. We got here. kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Damn straight she is. You're from, You're from here? here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone was here? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were. We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Aww. It's what so do you sad. think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him now. Okay, then. Hey there, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? <laughs> Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's get what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay, Carly. No problemo. Uh, what is that? Oh, a battery. Let's go fix that radio. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Do you know how? It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have Did a look at turn it on? Go ahead. Considering she doesn't know what a freaking battery is. Hmm, nothing. She's put them in the wrong way. Everybody does that. Silly Carly. Flick it back around. Turn her on. As the unknown continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE will 
Yeah, have Here, a chocolate bar. I feel better. Some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Sounds like a horse. Thanks. Hey, Carly. Mm, let's head out. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's roll. Talking to my birdie. He's watching me funny. Okay, guys and gals, I think we're gonna call it here. You can see me hopefully be a savior to Glenn next time. Anyways, I hope you enjoy it, as always, and uh, leave a like or a comment or subscribe if you want to get in touch with me at all. Anyways, I hope you had a good time, and as always, have a good night or a good day, whatever the heck it is, whatever the heck you guys are. Bye!